One of the valuable things about Solutions Focus is that it can turn disasters into learning. In organisations, when something goes wrong, there's often a tendency to analyse the problem, explore why it went wrong and allocate blame. Whilst this might be interesting, it doesn't always make progress or build relationships. In fact, it can do the opposite. One good example of this is from an electricity supply company in Austria. They sent out a communication to all of their customers about a change in billing. It was a simple communication and a simple change. However, somehow they got the wording wrong. It was so confusing to the clients and the customers that people thought that their electricity was going to be cut off, there were significant changes, and it caused a lot of trouble and mayhem. The phone lines in the customer services area went off, they lost customers, all sorts of disarray happened as a result of this, what had appeared to be a simple communication. The first thing they did was obviously fix the problem. They sorted it out, they dealt with the, the people who were troubled, and things returned to normal. Then came the inevitable meeting, the management meeting that was called after this event. The managers went there with a sense of dread. They were concerned about what was going to be happen. Some of them were a bit scared for their jobs. But their general manager, Hans, had come across a solutions-focused approach, and he decided that he would ask a slightly different question when he got into this meeting. He walked into the room and he said to them, you might think I'm mad, but before we go any further, I'd like you to answer this question. And he wrote on a flip chart, what worked well? The managers responded to this and they discussed among themselves and realised that actually many things had gone well. They'd responded very quickly, they'd worked incredibly well together, they'd written good clear communications as a follow-up and ultimately they'd handled the phone lines really well and they'd spoken clearly and concisely to customers. After they'd generated this list, there was a lot of energy in the room, and after that, Hans then asked, so, what might we do differently next time? And they came up with many, many useful ideas and decisions were taken that they took forwards. So as a result of asking a different question, they learnt from this disaster and in a way that they knew what to do next time and actually prevent this kind of thing happening again. For more information, go to www.thesolutionsfocus.co.uk forward slash free guide.